let's open up 08 adding components dot rbc file now two bedroom condo unit is coming out along quite nicely but it takes a little bit more than just walls doors and windows to make a typical building layout so in this video clip we will look at the component tool which is the tool to bring in a variety of miscellaneous items now as a rule of thumb if you don't see a dedicated tool for the item you're trying to insert it's probably going to be under the component tool so for example if i want the door so for example if i wanted a door or a window or a column i will have buttons for those but if i don't see a button for toilets or furnaces or for washer dryers it is very likely we will be able to see or find these items under the component it's a sort of a catch-all button for all the miscellaneous items that you want to insert in a model so when i click on the component pool it will take me to the modify place component tab for example here so under architecture, under components, drop down list here, this one, and we click on place a component, we will be able to see an array of things that we can or that has already been loaded inside this project. Like for example, we can find light fixtures, we can find bathroom fixtures as well, sink, urinals, and so on. But that again, many a times, this may not be enough for us, or this may not be the items of what we want. Okay, so what will happen is, we will click on this button here called Load Family to load more items. So let's go to, let's go to Libraries for Lesson 4. And we can begin to look for, say, furnace, for example, a heater. And we can click open to be able to import it in. So once it has been done successfully, imported in successfully already, we will be able to see the furnace here at this point. So let's try to see how we can plant this item. Now, if this this component generally is a free-standing item, so it doesn't really need to depend on a particular wall or a floor to be to be anchored to. So this one is a free-standing item. Now, we can pretty much click anywhere to just drop it in, but then uh, Revit has this very nice feature of which we can, uh, before we put it in, we can mouse over it. Okay, notice when I zoom in closer, I mouse over it, and before we click to commit where we want to put it, we can press the space bar to be able to orientate its rotation or alignment. And it is also quite intelligent in that sense. If the walls are an angle or split or tilted, we can press the space bar here to align it to that particular rotation notice is somewhere like this huh so for example I will just uh, look for this wall here and I'm going to just drop it inside this way and in doing this we can then use further modification tools here and we will be able to just select and move them to the location that we want here for example okay let me just do a little bit more adjustment so that it will snap nicely and to be able to see this and to study its location in 3d we what we can do is we can select the item here click on one item and we use the bx command and what would happen is it would display only this particular component that we have selected 
along with this nearby objects and along with what we call a section box. And this section box is later adjustable if we need to see more things surrounding this particular object here. We can hold the shift key and rotate to orbit around the object to see it this way. So let me just go back to the plan again. And I'm going to try to insert another component here. So one more time, architecture, component drop-down list, and place component. Again, if the item is not in here, we'll click on load family, and under this libraries for lesson four, I'm going to look for a toilet. And we click open. And once we're in here, we will be able to make adjustments to it. For example, press the space bar to orientate to the correct orientation before we put it inside the project. And we go to modify and we will be able to move the object here and let it align to the wall this way. So anytime you'd like to see how things are shaping up in the 3D view, all you have to do is click on the little birdhouse here. And we're going to just uh, disable the section box away from this area, okay? I'll just take down the section box so that we can begin to see everything in 3D view down here, all right? So anytime you need another component in your file that is not readily available, all you have to do is click on the component tool and load family some along this region here. Place a component and load family. And browse through your available library and load in the components you'd like to use. So in the next video clip, we will look at other places of which we can find contents that are available online.